Hey everyone, how are you? See me again in this video. And um, today I will bring you with a new tutorial with um, Adobe Illustrator. And I have just learned it and I want to share it with you. Please follow along. And what we are going to do is what you have already seen on the thumbnail. And I will try to make it as simple as I can. And if you cannot understand, I'm sorry, but um, you can comment your question in the comment section below and we'll try to answer your question okay in order to do that we have a lot of ways to do it but i will use my way maybe somebody else know a better way but as i am just learning so i just do what i can okay so our tutorial today is to make the hashtag stylist so we have to draw the hashtag so i will start with writing the hashtag and make the hashtag shape separately okay so i will start with typing so i will tie the hashtags like that and make it bigger hold shift to keep it proportionally and i will change the font to what i liked so in here we have property and i will change the font to i use Mount Montserrat. I will just see the, this one black. So in, like this. And I will make it bigger. So we can work on it easily. Okay, right now I have this. And the idea is we have to make edge size separately. Okay. If you guys could add with drawing or putting this together go ahead do it never mind and for me i will do this all right uh i will make this a copies by control c uh, control c and control f control c for copy control f for paste it uh, in the same place so i will i have two layer so i will have to hide one so i'm working on this so um Okay, so we will make the outline of this okay right click create outline so we have it like that and we need to choose a primary color any color is fine or keep it black but i i want other color so i will select one like that okay so i will make a shape of, of this everything so i normally need the straight line okay so I will use the pen tool for now. I'm not good at good at using pen tool. I'm still learning it, so please don't mind. All right. So go ahead. We'll make this first. Hold shift to make it straight. Straight holding shift. Okay. So we have uh, one one shape already. So we continue holding shift. Holding save, holding save, miss that. So we have two now. All right. So continue with the with the what you call one, what you call ones. Okay. Like that and this is like that. Okay, so we have three now. Continue with another one. Hold save. So we have four. We can hide this completely, so we can see everything is separated. Okay, separated layer, separated shapes. So we can start working on it. So now I will give them a different colors, so we can know which one is which. So now I will select this one, and I give the color which color I like, the green one light green okay and this one i will give a red solid red and this one i will give it like uh, this light blue and this one i may keep this color i like it okay so ideally this we will make this 
over this one put this color over this the red one so go ahead and try this to uh, so we have like this and we need the green one to be on top of this the light blue so go ahead with the green like that okay so this one is on top of the green now put this one on top of the green okay so basically we want the red one is uh, underneath the, the the this purple one okay this purple shape but we can as like for example we remove this up to this so it will come up but also this also on this too so we don't do that we will make another another layer overlay this purple okay so we we'll spend tools again and we start drawing okay and put it all the way there Look here too and finish there so we have the red one over this one we will continue with the making it the uh, like more shadow to this so right now we can see it good already but it it flat okay so it will make it more 3d right now what i'm going to do we make this part first so drop over uh, drop the side over here okay now i will draw another shape to have only this shape okay so i will go with the uh, pen tool again and i will start drawing intersect here and hold shift to cut in the side here to come here and to get here and to finish here so we have another layer here okay so we have this layer now we have to make it darker on this part so we will make it gradient so we select it first okay, here we can see make it gradient like that but we don't want that side we will use gradient tool to draw it Okay, just like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we will start giving them, uh, giving it a color. So the first color, we don't use that, but this one. Uh, okay, this one first. Use this. Okay, and here we will give it the same color okay the same color first okay and later on we will give it a light darker okay, so give the this to be like that okay it's darker in here but you can see that the layer is like cut out so we don't want that so we we'll make it like this okay 30 I give it 30 percent okay so we still got we keep moving it closer like that so we don't see it seem like cut out again okay. see it look better no uh, one it's darker can give it like that too Okay, it's dark all right so remember this i will give it like uh, 85 percent so it's like that all right so we finish one for here and we need to make it here too so for what i'm gonna do if as it is uh, like the same line i just uh, duplicate this layer to put it down yeah okay so i will flip it my array or transform to reflect so now we want it to go up so choose this one and do like that and we flip it again with the reflect now we use this what you call yeah okay it seemed like it do the job already but we need to adjust it a little bit to move it straight Okay. 
Okay, so we have this part ready. So it look, I don't know. Can bring it a little bit over there. Okay, just like that. Okay, now as we have this part is the same to this one, so we just duplicate it to put it here. It's fine for the color right now, so we have to give them the color. So now it give it a solid color, the same color. So we will start making this like we use 85 at the moment. So give it 85. So it's there. See? Like already. So this two, same here. Duplicate whole alt on the keyboard and drag it to there and move it close like that. Yeah. Try to make it more accurate. Okay. Stay at boom. So now we'll give it the color. Do the same thing. Uh, we give it red because it's already red. So in here we'll give it red too. Okay. So in the color. Give it 85. Darker. Okay. Cool. We got this finished. Now we need to do the part here. Okay. So, you can do this. It's easy now. Still use the pen tool. Let me drag it here. To intersect. Can go along to this, it's fine. Make it whole. This is like that. Okay, this time we will use the gradient in this friend way. Okay. Just like that. But we need to flip the color. So let's go back there. Okay, right now. Oh, Okay, so um, we will give the color back, give it more blur to this part, and we'll finish there. Okay, so now we will give the color, same as before, solid first, and then uh, we'll put it, um, make it darker, okay, this part. 85 Okay uh, Move it a little bit To here so Be like that Okay, you see Same there, okay now we just um, Get this same, we don't have to copy anything But it will be use uh, uh, Full letter, I want that, I want that, straight, here, straight, here. We apply the same gradient. Now, then I will flip it to this part and I change this. Okay, I will draw it again now. Mm, and like that. Flip it. Okay. So we are almost done. Need to do this part. So easy. So we flip it. We made this a copy. And uh, Flip it, flat. So what you call? Yes, and we flip the uh, horizontal. Boom. Okay, move it close like that, and we will give the 
color this time so use the light blue and this gonna be light blue too okay and we make this part darker 85 okay and one more time is this part duplicate it move it here flip it back um, okay and flip it again but what do you call this time right so we got it here move it like that and we give the color how about uh, this and yeah we have the same thing okay we are done with the aspect so we will give it something like um, the text make it even better like aspect Hashtag. Make it big. Uh, you know what? Just make this small. okay so that's it i hope you like it and um, please give it a thumb up and consider subscribe to my channel and you will get um, more videos like this in the future so don't forget to put the bell icon as well so you don't miss my video when i put it thank you for watching and see you in the next one